Hello, how are you today? I'm Patricia. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to talk to you about the Lion's Gate. This Lion's Gate is huge. It is all about your heart chakra, your 5D heart chakra particularly. Don't know what I'm talking about? Oh my goodness, where have you been? Chances are you're feeling it. So let's just delve right in, shall we? Your heart chakra isn't just your heart. It's not just your physical heart. There are much larger parts of you that need to be incorporated with this, merged and expanded. We're in some energy that is a lot about fire and water. Things are burning down. You could say like it is burning down the house. Burning down the house. Yes, it is burning down the house because it is intended to burn or cut away anything that you really can't uh, carry. Now, let's get specific about this. What does this mean? Okay, it is about what cannot be carried form forward even if you tried. It burns to the ground. So you will have sensations and actual things happening where it feels like everything is falling apart. Even if you are not the one where you're falling apart or your stuff is falling apart, you can still detect it sometimes. Why? Not because you're a detective, because you're a lover, because you are a twin flame. You can pick up on it, on what's happening on the other side. Energetically, it doesn't have a leg to stand on anymore. All kinds of stuff are, can it just honestly like burning down the house. It's going to burn. But for some people, it's like, you know, that thing that needs to burn like the phoenix like rising from the ashes this is how it is so this is lion energy you have to have the heart of a lion you have to have the spirit of the phoenix the firebird these are legends but this is how you can feel that you are somehow here to rise above the ashes that your heart in its higher way is intended to carry you upwards up level and get you ascended at least to the extent that you can do your next steps you cannot okay like i don't know how long people have been carrying things and dragging it or feeling hindered and limited and you know it's just dragging you down we cannot go for another year like this we cannot go for another decade like this we cannot go for another few months. Some of you cannot go another day feeling limited or like somehow the universe has kicked you in the gut and you've got another gut kick. I'm here to tell you this energy, heart chakra energy, it's about reversal of fortune. So whether it is your childhood, whether it's your ancestors, because sometimes you can recognize this. You could say, I think my ancestors went through stuff. Yeah, but you're not intended to carry that load or that burden anymore. There is a, you know, taking the yoke off, burn the damn yoke. It's made out of old barn wood anyway, and it's not very stylish and nothing's usable from it. Burn it up. You may feel like, hey, this is stuff from my childhood, my origins. It's my family of origins or it's something in the biology. It's the patterns, how I grew up. I got news for you. Everyone grew up with some toxic stuff because nobody knew it was toxic. People just thought that's how it was, okay? Some people might blame politics, okay? And men there are mentalities that do that. I remember a scene in Forrest Gump where the guy uses politics as an excuse as to why he needs to abuse his girlfriend, okay? So whether it's Putin or some other politician, hey, life goes on. You're here to be the love. How you know this is, first of all, you're not alone. You could look around and there are other people watching videos, participating, getting acknowledgement. You felt that love and it gave you hope. But there's something beyond hope, and that's action. And these are the actions that are happening on a larger scope, a larger scale, a burning things up, not giving it a leg to stand on anymore. Okay, you are light, and your real attachment is to love. You have parts inside you that literally have to only attach to love. 
not to hatred, not to other things. You can, there's a difference between disliking something or disapproving of behaviors and actual hatred. And hatred isn't even the opposite of love. It is fear. Okay. So this is, this energy is also capable of helping you lift above base fears. Okay. It's a beautiful thing that's happening because your heart is, you know, like it is a cup. It's a cup. It is your ace cup and it is actually going to fill with the right stuff, not carry and lug around more of the wrong stuff. How does this play out? Well, you have a reversal of fortune effect here where things start turning around for you. And sometimes it starts slowly. Okay. It can make you feel like the light at the end of the tunnel. It can feel like a natural ending to things where, you know, you can finally put closure. You can get it off your plate. You can finish it. You've revisited it. That's what a lot of retrograde energy is for. Revisit it. Stick your toe in the water. See if you can close that chapter somehow. Okay? But it starts turning around. You can feel a return of your energy. You feel a natural detachment from dire things. And sometimes this is very natural. You don't want to watch the news. You don't want to hear bad news. You don't want to linger in it. Um, other people's stuff just somehow, it, it's like, God, I wish I could help humanity, but I really don't want to be in that muckety muck with them. It can feel like that. That is actually a healthy thing because then you can feel guided to the actual thing that would really help instead of staying in and, you know, letting the drowning people climb on your shoulders. This energy is about self empowerment in a way that is very proactive. Okay. This also means that um, the dire things that your ancestors were subjected to, okay, that is going to feel a bit diminished in scope so that it feels doable, it feels actionable, it feels like it doesn't linger with you so prominently, and that it doesn't disempower you, okay? So not only is this empowering, this is about removing things that have disempowered you and allowing your heart to expand. Deep emotional burdens will get lifted so that your natural creativity and love can resume. Okay, how we create all the time is from love. It's not always by saying, oh, I would love to be a chef, although that does happen. It's about letting 5D love guide you and gravitate you towards what would be most beneficial for you what is supportive to you, what is empowering to you, and what loves you back, frankly. It's super simple. It has to love you right back. And if your work isn't loving you, I have ways to help you get out of that situation. So if you're stuck in a nine to five and you're wondering, hey, why does everyone else get to like go off and like make their own schedules? I have a way to help people develop that using your divinely gifted areas, including your heart chakra. So even though this energy is gearing you up towards it, how do you want to utilize it? How do you want to feel? I am an expert in getting people to feel their connections, feel their high level experiences and to feel guided. I've managed to get people on track within, you know, one to four sessions. That's how expedient my modality is because we are using 5D connections, 5D initially, and then support energy from other levels. So even if you've been at this a while, you could feel like you hit a wall. I don't want you to hit a wall. We are here to help you get empowered, to feel good, to actually fill your tank with the right stuff. What else with this heart chakra energy of the lion's gate? Okay. Now there's a reason that we have these sort of like undertones happening here and you might see it show up in your dreams. Okay. You'll have a juxtaposition of your dreams. Some are good. Some are really negative. 
That's why I also recommend don't watch too much of the dire stuff. It will flavor your dreams and that won't really be a real dream, nor will it be a prophetic dream. It will just be a dream that's peppered with some of the earth stuff from earth's mental collective. But you can have long and deeply abiding friendships that get created in this energy. You're going to swear these people were friends from home even better than you know people from your soul family okay because sometimes soul family they really won't feel like simply a friend that cares and you do friend stuff and you can have friends you won't be giving each other messages you'll get your messages directly from your higher selves that's how it's supposed to work you will have renewed relationships with your family with extended family extended relatives You'll see that sometimes they're ready to be Johnny on the spot. They're ready to be right there to assist you or help you with something. Even when you thought maybe you couldn't rely on them. How reliable are you? How accountable are you? This is an energy for this where it's not a proving ground, but it's people stepping forward. It means men manning up. It means family doing the right thing. It means children showing maturity. It means people being able to put closure and say ta-ta, bye-bye, things like that. And especially with children. This energy is particularly about children and childhoods. Now, there is openings in the heart for mutual passion to enter. So I have two of our primetime twin flamey people here. And as you can see, one... She's already been to the new earth. She's down here finishing up some of her karma. And it's been a rough road because there's something inside her that, no, she really shouldn't be subjected to things. And yet stuff is just falling apart around her. Now, because she's from there, she carries a little bit more balance, but she still doesn't know what to do. Everything's falling apart. I can feel it. I just don't really know what I'm supposed to do about it. Why are people leaning on me, whining at me? Why are people, you know, expressing bad behaviors with me? I shouldn't have to do this. Look at all the work I've done. Yes. So how do you do this? Through your twin flame body, you set energetic boundaries. Okay. You know what the right actions are and you detach very gracefully, graciously as though backing out of the room and saying, thank you. I'm not taking any more of that. Well, I feel different. I feel so fatigued and I can't even believe it. I feel like I'm out of energy, I'm out of direction, and I'm angry about it. I, I feel angry and I feel depleted and drained and like something's trying to bring me to my knees. Well, what I can tell you is this has a lot to do with the feminine, not the divine feminine as a collective, but your feminine areas of which there are multiple. Do you ever feel like this? Oh, long few years ago I felt like this. Well, I'm feeling it now. Yes, because they are in two different places in their twin flame ascension. I'm starting to have major doubts. I don't even know if this is real anymore. I don't even know if I want this. I don't even know how to get rid of it. You can't get rid of it, but you can go through it and you can do it very graciously, gracefully, easily using my modality. The fatigue, piece of cake for us to get that shifted. But is it something else? Is it fibromyalgia? Like I ache, I have, I have these angry outbursts and then I feel so tired. Yes, because you're not intended to feel angry all the time. This is the way things have done, been done. We get angry, we hold tensions and nobody, that's not what we're designed to. Would you like to hold love? I would love to hold buckets of love. Buckets and buckets and buckets. Oh, I too. I am capable of so much love. Oh my God. Well, this energy is good news for you because this is creating openings in your 5D heart for mutual passion to enter. Ooh, mutual passion. I've almost forgotten what that feels like. Yes, and it happens privately in your own room, as it should. Not for everyone to gawk at, not for everyone to hack into or steal. 
I don't know if I've ever felt that. I mean, I've had boyfriends. Well, even some women look at me and I don't even know what to do with it, but I don't even know if I've ever felt that. I see it. Well, that's what you're here for. You're here to feel and be the love. When you feel that passion and we exude it, that's how change happens. But the change has to happen in your lives, not for everyone else, although it ripples to everyone else. Would you like to be a conduit? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Okay, so how do you utilize this energy to the best of your ability? Well, I have a couple of ways. I have a session for your spirit, for the subtle body so that we gear up your connections. I have a tutorial and I have a Lionsgate class that is designed to carry you through and we're actually going to be including for people that join you're going to be included in my full moon event that i'm having it's online a little bit about these um these are recorded so if you have to work if you happen to miss one you get the recording you can still follow along 24 7 using the recording the other thing is please remember you're the love Okay, it's really easy to forget, especially when you hear negative stuff out there or you pay attention to what's going on with the world, or even if you lose your cool with family. Being the love means engaging your light body to help you. Engaging the twin flame body, engaging the etheric twin that wants to help you ascend up and out, up and away, up, 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 up on your ascension trajectory, getting healthy, feeling compassionately detached, feeling even healthier emotionally, observing. You could even feel like you're from a completely different place. So if you're interested in joining, and I hope you'll join us, please bring your twin flamey loveliness, bring your Q&As, bring your fiery, you know, what are you on fire to ask? What are your burning questions? Bring it. Because I love doing live Q&As. Everyone learns so much. You can share or not share. And you can just learn. But it's time to learn. And it's time to grow and expand. Spiritual maturity has to do not with how much you donate to a charity. Spiritual maturity is about your spirit subtle body. And that's why we're burning down the house. So join me in love so you can bring passion and do the highest and best possible of you in it. Thank you so much. Bye.